everybody else can arrive at the palace tomorrow because that's when the official opening happens. But they have opened the doors early to let us in to see this magnificent exhibition, including the Queen's coronation dress, designed by Norman Hartnell. Eight previous designs rejected and the ninth accepted. And this is what it looks like. And behind it, this extraordinary six and a half meter robe, which took embroiderers 3,500 hours to embroider with that glorious gold thread. And around that robe, six handles for the maids of honour to carry, and extremely heavy it was as well. We spoke to one of those maids of honour, Lady Jane Rain, about her memories of the day. It all seemed like a dream, actually. I couldn't believe it. I thought, why have I been chosen then? The first time I saw my dress, I couldn't believe that I was going to wear anything so beautiful and so magnificent. Up till then, I'd had very simple, sort of girlish dresses, but never any embroidery. The first time I saw the Queen's dress, it was quite, quite staggering. And I th to seeing it now, if I were to see it now, this minute, I would get the same thrill. At a given moment, the Queen turned round and said, Shall we go, girls? Uh, so we all smiled out, well, completely put us at ease. Um, we set off. And the first thing I did when we got inside the Abbey is I looked to the left, because I knew my father was sitting just inside the door. And um, he gave me a big wink, and I thought, oh, everything's going to be all right now. Wonderful memories. Now, in the music room, just down the corridor from here, is where the Archbishop of Canterbury christened Prince William, as he had done in the same place, his father, Prince Charles. And the birth of Prince William's first son, Prince George of Cambridge, this week means that the palace are expecting a record number of visitors when they open up tomorrow. <laughs>